Hello, it's Sarah, and it's art journal share time. Um, look how it's getting, like, puffy. Oops, sorry. Look at that. I am still really liking my um, moleskin, or skein, however you want to call it. Um, I feel like it's holding up to a lot of different techniques, mixed media, um, so that's a good thing. I shared these pages. This one I didn't actually do a share on, but um, these little angels are cut from um, a collage sheet from Ephem Ephemera's Vintage Garden. And I've had it in my stash. It was printed out and everything, so I just was leafing through my um, printables, you know, stuff that I've had. And I just thought, oh yeah, let me play with them. So I just went with it, you know, and I have all these things are kind of in my little um, art journal bucket. So I have flower stamps in there. I have a lot of this stuff in there. So that's just kind of what I went with. And since they're fairies, I figured they were in a garden, but it's very dark background again. And I remember I did put, I think there's the Tim Holtz paper in the background. I'm pretty sure it's hard to see. Um, maybe not. Maybe I just paint, gessoed and painted the pages. I can't even tell. But this is just solid paint, not a wash. And I think I like the results better when I do a wash. Oh, and I'm going to order, I want to order some Lindy's on my next um, Amazon order. I'm going to order some Lindy's Stamp Gang sprays because I think that might give a little bit of a lighter, we'll see, because I know they can come out dark too. Anyway, um, so just the same techniques um, with doing some background and then I collage paper on. So the letters are collaged on, the fairies are collaged on um, using Mod Podger. Now I have a nice um, liquid matte medium that I'm really liking by Liquitex and the flowers. And then I paint with, mostly I've been using my... Um, my, my Martha Stewart pearl paints. I'm really loving that because I like the shimmer. I, I personally, it makes me happy. And that's what my art journal is about. Just me being happy or me trying something new. And I've done that. You'll see what happens. Okay. Oh, and I just got these twinkling H2Os. The page I'm going to do today, I think. If I don't, we're supposed to paint my son's room. My He's out of the house. So we're painting and redoing the room and, you know. That we could be doing that, but uh, I'd, I'd rather do this. Um, but I want to use these today, my Twinkling H2Os. I just got them. So then the next page, okay, this was, I collaged the whole background with pieces of paper, all different pieces of paper I ripped and tore, and you can't even tell now. And that's what I don't like about collage. I mean, you can see there's a striped piece there, and it's very textural. So... But what happened was it got too sticky. The mod, and I did use Mod Podge for this, and it wouldn't dry. Well, it would dry, and it, but not to my, you know, I'm very impatient. So I kind of had to leave it, let it dry, and move on. And I went and I did this page. No, not that one. I'll show you that in a minute. This page. I, like, moved a, totally away from it and did this page. And this is some... Um, these are those um, Project Life cards that you can get, and these were all on clearance at, I want to say, joannes.com, but I don't remember. Um, so I just cut up a bunch of those, like, totally cool, whatever, Lo do what you love, love what you do, um, create, love this fun stuff. So just kind of positive things. But then what happened was I went around everything with my brown... Um, pit pen, my big brush, not pit pen, my big brush, my this, Ooh, my fiber pastel, it's stuck in the box there. Anyway, and that, I like the technique on some things, like I definitely liked it on my canvases uh, because they're bigger, but I think on the smaller pieces, I want to use similar colors of the background, maybe like a blue or something that's going to not take away from all the bright color. So that was the next piece. Then I went back the next day and finished this and just decided to keep it simple because there was so much already, like with the, um, all that collage work, I just wrote, I kind of made my own block letters, just play, and did some stamping and doodling. And I mean, I like it. 
and just painted it with washes. So came out cute. I mean, it's it's what I do. I just play. So then I did this page. And I think if every page in my journal could be like this, these two are my faves so far. That's what I'm going for in my art journal. I like the light backgrounds and then a painted kind of um, feel to it. So that's what I'm going to try and start to look for. Um, stamps that I can use that are big and so that's why you'll see I have this is a new stamp set that I just shared um, it's called hummingbirds and it's by Stampendous so but it's a big it's big so I use the two hummingbirds and then this I guess it's I don't know it looks like fuchsia a little bit maybe I don't know trumpet flowers of some type um, and again my techniques that I use all the time the stamping um, some stenciling um, and then look this is my these are the words that I used for my new Dymo label maker this is the um, 160 the uh, label manager 160 and I love it and that I mean I just print it out cut it out you're good and it's self adhesive so it's like a sticker but then I did go over it with matte medium because they're very shiny um, but I like how this turned out, but I, w I really wanted to use my twinkling H2O's on this one. But, um, so I like how that one turned out. Then this one was a total crazy, last night I did this, I think. Yes, last night. Um, I don't know what I was going for. I wanted to play with mediums. I had my matte medium and I used texture paste, I think it's called, or no, I used modeling paste. Soft gel matte and modeling or molding paste molding paste and soft gel matte by golden um this stencil here is uh what is her name anyway that's the uh matte the soft gel matte i just put it through the stencil because i wanted it to be like a resist see i'm i have no idea like i'm so glad i didn't film this because it was it was like ugh, uh um and then I did all the butterflies with the molding paste. So I let all that dry, and then I used my Inca Golds, these. I really just, I didn't know what else to do, but I used my metallic rubs, because I, I was kind of thinking like with the raised areas, I could just rub, but I used gelato, metallic gelatos, and oh my gosh, but it just went, it got so dark. And I'm, I mean, hey, I played and I, I found out what not to do, basically. So, I mean, and it feels cool. It's really kind of shiny and I don't know. I mean, it's interesting. I see some ways that I could go, but not my cup of tea. Like, it's not my taste. But I did play and I found out what you could do with these. This is a resist. They definitely resist. Um, like I would have liked to spray some bright sprays, like have a blank page, put that on and just spray and see what happened. I think that might've come out like bolder because the gelatos for some reason, like I rubbed them and I have no idea. And then this one is what I'm going to work on today. This is the butterflies. I just cut these out of, um, book pages. This is the other big Stampenda stamp I got called pen pattern butterflies. And I just love them. And that is what I'm going to do my twinkling H2Os with. So I think I'm just going to try and go for a really soft background. Um, try to come up with some type of a, a butterfly saying. Um, and just let these do the talking. So hopefully that's what's going to happen. It's going to be a light background with some really pretty sparkly butterflies. I think I'll do him close. And then as they get further away, smaller. So like perspective wise. So that's what I'm gonna be working on today. So I hope you guys are playing in an art journal cause it's super fun. And I am getting a jelly plate, OMG. Um, so I'm gonna be um, collaging some jelly plate stuff in here too. Um, making my own backgrounds. All right, you guys. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.